Hi there, it's Wanda and we're outside this afternoon in our yard and I'm looking for some broadleaf plantain to get. It's almost time to cut the grass again and I want to get out here and get my broadleaf plantain cut. There's tons of it in your yard and this is what it looks like. Maybe in a smaller form but mine have really popped and grown out big. So this is what you need to look for. They're all over right now in my yard and I'll just walk around and you can just see them in spots all over the yard and they grow and they'll come back when it's mowed but it's okay but you want to get them when they're fully leaved that's where all the medicine is in your plant and um, they're in the leaves and um, you just want to grab some while you can so you can dry them out. Um, this is how I go. I just pick, take some and I take a big batch and I cut lots of leaves off. You can take this, don't take the real small ones like this. Let them be at least like this size. You can pinch them off like so. And, um, or you can use scissors or cutters. But sometimes I just use my fingernail if I'm right out here. And they have a great medicinal properties in this plant. Plantain, what can I say? I love plantain. I love picking it. And um, I always make sure I get plenty to harvest for, for the summer, over the summer months while it's here. Um, to dry it out for later, I can make salve. Um, it's great. It's a has great antibacterial, anti-inflammatory benefits in this plant. If you're outside and you have, say you cut yourself on something or scratched yourself or got stung, all you would need to do is to take a bite of this, chew it up, and take you a bite, chew it up, Let it get good and mushy, like so, and rub it on your wound or cut or sting. And the properties in the juice from chewing that up will help soothe and heal and take that, take that um, sting out and just it will help soothe and heal that wound. And um, it's always great to have plantain in your yard. So if you're ever wondering what it is, it looks, this is what it looks like. And um, I am going to be cutting quite a bit off today into my bucket so I can lay it out. I'll rinse it off. I've got some in my bucket already. Um, so we're gonna take the bucket today and uh, we're just gonna go around and we'll start right here and we'll start picking the broadleaf broadleaf plantain so hopefully today you can get out and get yourself some wash it off dry it out on some paper towels or screen it does take about a week or so um, plantain is slow to air dry or you can use a dehydrator if you so um, if you're wanting to hurry up and have it to use um, but you can have it for dried for later. And um, the, the benefits that you'll gain later will be, will be, I, will be, will be a blessing um, to have in your, um, in your medicine cabinet. So hope you're out this afternoon. Get you some plantain. It pulls right off. And um, just start putting some in your bucket today. Just try a little and uh, just dry it out and uh, come over and I'll show you how, go over to my website and I'll show you how to infuse it in some oil so you can use it to make salve. And um, it's very easy. So, all right. Well, I thought I'd just do this quick video and see how easy it just comes right off. And um, you don't have to worry about pulling up the root or anything because it'll grow back in no time. 
so you'll always have plenty for in the summer okay well we hope that you enjoy your afternoon and as you can see i have a lot that i can pick from today all right hope your day is blessed be well and we'll see you next time